put more time on it because this camera or this TV is really hot and I get paid a lot of money. And there's a special promotion. If I sell 20 of them, I get double my commissions, which happens all the time. Then you tell them, instead of spending 10 minutes promoting it, why don't you spend an hour? Five an hour, eight hours in a day, it's 40 new products being treated like they're authority sites for every blog post that you do. At the end of the month, what do you have? You have a website that's probably going to be doing really, really well traffic-wise, and it's your job to make sure you convert that traffic into money. So if you have a digital, uh, Sony digital camera, and in fact, what is Sony's? Is it DSC for Sony? Sony's designation for the cameras is Sony DSC model number? Something like that. It's like the model number starts with a series of letters, like DSC or DCS or something like that. Let's say you really like Sony digital cameras. They make money for you. So you register a domain and you focus in on that particular brand of Sony DSC cameras. And then every single blog post on that blog is about Sony digital cameras. And there's hundreds and hundreds of them. And there's new ones coming out every single month. I'd be willing to bet you could sell some Sony digital cameras no matter how competitive that market is. Because you're going to snag them. There are... Google does send the majority of the search engine traffic, but there's other search engines out there. But we also showed you that you're going to show up all over the place anyhow, even if it's not your direct site, as long as you make sure that there's a way to find you eventually. We showed you how to do that. Okay. Blog post, YouTube video, we already talked about that. We do the distribution. We use Traffic Geyser, but we also have our own coming out, automaticvideosharing.com. We're just going to hopefully do something better. But right now, automaticvideosharing.com will redirect you to Traffic Geyser because that's actually the tool that we use. I'm not holding back from you guys. But I'd keep an eye on automatic video sharing because eventually that redirect is going to be changed over to my product. And we plan on putting out something better. And I've got somebody with a great deal of experience in those markets and stuff doing it, running the project for us. That's the only way I get things done, by the way. Hire project managers for every project. And you should too. Social bookmarked videos with socialmarker.com. Barno said it took a couple minutes to submit it to 30 different social bookmarking sites using socialmarker.com. Also, with inside of automaticvideoshare.com, which is my link that takes you to Traffic Geyser, which will soon be my product, they actually submit podcasts and they actually submit social bookmarking sites also for you if you want them to. It's all in your training manuals. It tells you step by step, screenshot by screenshot how to do it. But one gentleman, I, like I had said, we need an overview blueprints that didn't make the manual for my fault if no one else's, so I'll take the blame. But we'll get those out next week. Social bookmark, the social bookmarks, the social marker. Do you know what that means? Did we cover that yesterday? Social bookmark, the social bookmarks. Does everyone understand what that means? Okay, I think I've got a screenshot coming up. This is an overview. I'll, I'll get to it. Remind me. Social bookmark, social bookmarks. Have the permalink of the post promoted with the incoming links campaign. Have the web 2.0 pages that show up in the end just promoted the same way. So what that means is, here's our blog post. Here's the little bookmark tags. When you click one of these bookmark tags, what, what happens? They take you over to a web 2.0 site such as MySpace, Dig. And once you get over there, what do we know about those sites? They're Web 2.0 properties, which probably means they have RSS feeds themselves, and they have these little tags themselves. So when you push one of these buttons here to promote my blog post about the camera, it goes over to MySpace, or if it goes over to Dig, when you get there, you're going to see these same little bookmarks there. You're not bookmarking my site now. Here, when I click these on my site, I'm bookmarking a link back to my site. But when I go over to Dig, Dig's got another set of links right here too. They're linking to my site, but they're also saying, do you like this bookmark itself? You can link directly to this bookmark. I guess I, from the looks I'm seeing, you guys want to see actually see this. I'm getting the looks like you guys want me to show you what I'm talking about in real life? Okay. Social marker, software, step by step, don't need to cover it. It's the tool that we used to do the Casio demonstration yesterday. Mario said it took about three minutes to do 30 submissions with it, and it's free. And you've got step by step training in the manual, so we'll skip this too. 
Tags count as incoming links in less than 48 hours. I'll use this example, and maybe I won't. Tags count as incoming links in less than 48 hours. Even no follow tags have value. Even no follow tag links have value to you as an internet marketer. No follow links. Does everybody know what a no follow link is? Okay. No follow links. A couple of years ago, Google came out and said, we want to fight cam comment spamming on blogs. So we came up with a new thing called a no follow, or they at least promoted it. I don't know if they came up with it, but that was the big push. And you can put this little piece of code, and by default, WordPress blog comments, by default, now, if they're new installations, have a little piece of code that when someone posts a link to a WordPress blog, makes a comment, that link has a code inserted in it that says no follow. Or at the top of the page itself, in the, header, in the meta tags, you can put in a general meta tag that says no follow. And what that means is when a search engine finds a tag that's marked as no, finds a link that's marked as no follow, that means they will not pass page rank or authority through that link to the resulting site. So a lot of people will tell you, don't bother if it's a no-follow tag on the blog, don't bother posting it, it's not going to do you any good. They don't know what they're talking about. Because what it will do for you is the search engines will still follow a no-follow link. And not all search engines even bother dealing with no-follow links. So some of them don't even ignore them altogether, and they'll still assign page rank, for lack of a better word, through that link back to your site. But even if the search engine follows a no-follow tag, if they follow the rule of no-follow, all that means is they're not going to assign anything of value to that incoming link. That's all. It means you're not juicing your page rank because you've got a, a link on someone else's blog pointing to yours. But they still follow the link physically, crawl through that link, through the Internet, and they come to your website. Even if they don't do that, what do we know about all this Web 2.0 stuff? Your footprint's everywhere, and it's got your name all over it. So even if the link itself is a no-follow link, what do I care? You're still going to be led back to my sales phone, aren't you, if you do what we talked about? Humans will find the no-follow links. Robots still follow them, by the way. But even, let's say they don't, which they do, the humans who are reading on these social bookmarking sites are still going to see your link. They're still going to click it because you put your calls to action around it. In your videos, you said, get more free content on my site.com. Come and get it. And we've shown you how many results of those things rank really well in the search engines. It's, I call it the breadcrumb trail SEO method because I'm leaving breadcrumb trails everywhere. In fact, I said that in an event with a couple of SEO guys this summer. They said they were going to actually register that or trademark it. I don't know if they did, so... And I've seen it before because the, where I got that from was there's, there's a thing called breadcrumb trail navigations on websites. And I said, well, my whole web is my website. The entire internet is my website, the way that I do things. So it's, for me, it's breadcrumb trail SEO, not just navigation of my site. So let's give you an example. We were talking about you wanted to see a live example of 